All right, what's going on, everybody? God bless y'all. Hope y'all are doing well on this beautiful Sunday as I give God the honor, the glory, and all the praise. I also want to give a shout out to my man, Big Barry, and Minister Jackson in this video. My title is Drinking. Hmm. Drinking. And I'm doing this um, kind of tied this in with my other video because it's amazing to me how people always want to take what I say and twist it up. And let me say something about drinking, especially wine, because I heard a brother the other day, he was telling his sister at church, it's a sin to drink wine. False teaching. And anybody that teaches that it's a sin to drink, I feel sorry for them. Now, when you talk about a pastor drinking, that's a totally different ball game. But I stated in my other video about when I'm chilling and having a good time, what I like to drink. And a lot of people didn't even understand that video. And let me go back to the Bible for a moment. I ain't even got to pick it up because it's, I done done videos about this plenty of times about wine and drinking. And when you go back in the Old Testament especially, wine is always rolled through the Bible. And even when Jesus came on the scene, when you ran out of wine at a wedding party or whatever engagement was, it was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment. And the first thing Noah did when he got off dark is did what? He got drunk. That's why I tell people all the time, the Bible never says that drinking was a sin. See, it's the drunkenness. It's the drunkenness. Just like the Bible say the love of money is the root of all evil. And then people quote money is the root of all evil. See how people can take words and scriptures and misuse them. As a matter of fact, when Paul, when Paul had Timothy with him, there was a time when Timothy got very sick. And you know what Paul gave Timothy for his stomach? Wine. He gave him wine. I can, I can pull all the scriptures out, but I'm not even going to do that in this video. I just want to have this little real talk video. And to the ones who always want to twist up what I say, Y'all need to learn the true meaning of the word of God and what I'm really saying. This is why my videos don't fit for everybody. That's why religious folks, they, they really can't stand me in, in, in my page. And that's fine with me because just because you don't like it, somebody else can love it. And like I stated in the last video, just like me and K-Ray was talking about, how just like me when I might get a beer, or I might, like I say, give me a little glass of Hennessy, but really what I love to drink is wine, red wine. I love to drink wine with my food, one glass, maybe a glass and a half. This is why I say I'm so sick of people taking God's word and trying to make it look like a Christian supposed to have a boring life. Oh, man, you can't listen at this. You can't drink that. You can't go to her. You can't go to I understand all of that. But if that was your downfall in life, that might not have been the next man or the next woman downfall in life. But the Bible also teaches you, do not cause your brother to stumble. Let me use K-Ray for instance, because K-Ray always coming over checking on me. Now, if I know K-Ray got a problem, he can't hold no drink, I wouldn't drink in front of him. Now, when he leave, I'm going to drink. And like I said, I don't get drunk. I drink my little stuff or whatever whatever it is I'm drinking. It might be liquor, it might be beer, it might be a glass of wine. And I'm through, just like that. And then these religious folks, when they come up to me talking about you going to hell behind that because they don't drink. Now check this out. This is what people trip me out. They don't drink. I don't cuss. I don't smoke. I don't drink. But they still got something wrong with them but they can't face themselves. But they quick the old point fingers. Just like me and Middy Man were talking about how Middy Man used to have drank everybody. He, he had to close the store to get him out of there. And I can love and respect that man for just keeping it real and telling the truth instead of acting all fake and funny. See, this is why smoking never was a problem to me. Why? Because I never was a smoker. I got people, even to now, they trying to get me to smoke weed with them because can't nobody, nobody, I mean absolutely nobody, tell you they saw JT get high not one day in his life. This is why I stick more to myself. 
So to y'all that like to take what I say and, and talk about I'm encouraging people to go have sex, when I be talking about what I'm talking about, that's for a man, husband and his wife. Husband and his wife. Now, if you shacking up living the wrong lifestyle, to those that listen to me, y'all already know what I be talking about. So that's why I wanted to come back and, and do this video and, and respond to you, uh, uh, Reverend Jackson and, and, and my boy. Y'all already know we was talking about in that email. That's why I love y'all when y'all keep it real. It's these religious folks. Same problem Jesus had. The, relig the religious folks. Oh, I'm saved now. I don't drink no more. I don't smoke no more. I don't do none of that no more. And you can't stand to be around the one that do it for five minutes, but you want to put them in hell. Now you done got so-called saved in your little body. See, this this, this just, uh, people need to keep it real. That's why I say Paul gave wine to Timothy. Because you know why? When, when they was going to and fro and, and ministering, the water was bad. And Timothy was so sick, so he told him, drink a little. Now, here's the thing I tell people. How do you know how much the next man little is? Hmm. See, I don't have a problem when I see somebody drinking that's a Christian, and they drinking their little glass of wine or their little glass of beer, and they stop. They ain't falling out. They ain't cussing nobody out. They done, they done, they done did their little bit of drink, and they threw with it. That's why wine was made for joy, happiness. You ever notice that in the Bible? That's why the Bible tell you it's a sin to get drunk. See, Noah messed up when he got drunk. And if, see, if Noah would have never got drunk, it wouldn't have been no problem with that. Because this is why we have to learn and rightly divide the word. Now, if you can't drink, you can't handle it, you need to leave it alone. Don't fool with it. Like I told K-Ray today, anything that overpowers you and you have no control over it, it's controlling you, you don't need to play no part of that. But let's get off the drink for a moment. Okay, you don't drink. You don't cuss. How many people got a problem running women? Mm. How many people got an eating problem? How many people got a lying problem, hoeing around? How many people just can't stop cheating? How many people still jealous of each other? So I'm naming something because something I'm naming is going to hit you. Because last time I checked, there was something wrong with everybody. Do I embrace sin? Hell no. I embrace the sinner. And I know I just got put in hell for saying, hell no. Y'all will catch that later on. So with that being said, man, love everybody. If you cannot handle drinking, it takes you out. All the time you're drunk, you need to quit. You need to quit. And that's real talk coming from you, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of folks on YouTube trying to take what I say and twist it up. And it's a whole lot of y'all out here that do that. That's why sometimes I have to come back and do videos like this because I don't want nobody out there lost and saying, JT said, go ahead and hold around. No, nah, JT ain't never said that. JT tell you about salvation. JT tells you about repenting and getting your life right. I don't try to tell people what to do. That's your life. You don't answer to me. You answer to God. That's why on that great day, when we have to give an account of our life, it's going to be so many people looking around looking stupid because they're going to be trying to point fingers at somebody else's life. See, God is not finna ask many man about JT. I got to stand and give an account for JT. I can't fight for your salvation. It's an individual thing. So... I hope folks wake up. What you do behind closed doors is your business. The other brother told me uh, the other day I was uh, I, when I was he was looking at an older video I did about the homosexuals, and he was talking about that I had that I had said that it's okay to be a homosexual. Y'all see how folks do, but ain't that the same way they did Jesus? I don't expect half of the people to agree with my videos. You know why? Because most people that comment. Not everybody, but most people that come in on my page, they don't even study the word of God. They'll learn one or two scriptures. They don't rightly divide the word. They want to say they want to say one or two things, and then they write. See, you can't teach the new without teaching the old. You cannot. That's why I said now once again, the drink drinking is not the sin. It's the drunkenness. You got free will to do whatever you want to do. That's your choice to do whatever you want to do. 
It's just like a bottle of Tylenol. I can walk across the street to the dollar store. I got an option to go in there, just get that bottle, take one or two tablets, or I can take the whole bottle at one time and be laying in the hospital and they be pumping my stomach up, trying to get me back right and back to art. I mean, get me back in order, right? Function right. We have free will. And to these holy and die folks, once again, who like to point fingers at everybody and tell you you're going to hell for this and, and going to hell for that, you ain't even made it in yet. So instead of telling people they're going to hell, why don't you tell them about how to get to heaven? But I'm sorry, half of y'all don't even put videos up. So, but once again, hate on me, criticize me, do whatever you want because it don't bother me at all. I'm going, if Lord say the same, I'm going to be right on here with another video talking about the Lord. See, some topics I talk about, most people just can't handle it. You know why? Because most of them are fighting with it themselves. If I do a video talking about sin, don't nobody want to hear that because they too busy fighting with their sin. But they want to go inside the church and hide behind closed doors. So if you're going to teach about drinking, tell the truth. Don't sit there and tell people the Bible said you going to hell for drinking when the drinking is not the sin. It was the drunkenness. That's why wine was made for on occasions. It's a time and a season for everything. I heard, I heard preachers telling Christians that they're going to hell if they drank one glass of wine. Now, that's false teaching. False. Matter of fact, if folks would learn the difference between sinning against yourself and sinning against God, let me leave that alone. That's too deep for most folks. I'll do that another day. Y'all take care. God bless you and God keep you. Peace and remain blessed.